well folks it's a thoroughly wet and miserable day <laughs> um and i have chores to do i've got to empty the toilet i've got to do the recycling i've got to get um a new gas tank and i did also want to start the engine um and check it over but i won't be doing the engine if it's pouring down like this but i do need to do the other things especially the toilet so that will get me moving but to be honest all i want to do right now is sit and drink coffee and read uh but i can't <laughs> so yeah there is a minimum i've got to get done today um yeah <laughs> uh, my hay fever is also atrocious despite the rain uh which normally makes it a lot better i'm on my fifth handkerchief already today um so yeah that's that's going well um anyone else out there get tree hay fever um it's the birch tree that's my biggest problem um so yeah i'm quite heavy in the face today uh yeah the only other the only good thing about the rain is that there's no one around which um means that i don't feel like a complete wally talking to myself on camera so it's not it's not so bad if i've got it um like in my hand so you'll see from my last video when i was in witchurch that i am getting more used to videoing in public um in my mind i just kind of try and remember the fact that people are used to seeing people walking around talking to their cameras now uh, because everybody has a youtube channel um or is on instagram or something so i try and keep that in my mind that i'm not i don't look stupid um but i still be, feel very self-conscious when i'm recording in front of people um but yeah as i say i am getting used to it but still in the marina it's a little bit weird because because it's quite quiet here if people are walking past they think i'm talking to them um, and I also just feel like an idiot. So yeah, the only good thing about the rain is that I could put the camera out there and nobody would come along. <laughs> the only problem with that is, of course, my phone will get wet. So yeah, um, I'm not sure what's going to happen today. If the rain goes off a bit, which the forecast said it shouldn't even be raining right now, so go figure. Um, but if the rain goes off a bit, I will start the engine and, and have a look in the engine bay and check the oil and stuff. So, But for now, I'm going to put the kettle on fill up my coffee pot and have a second coffee and maybe read a bit <laughs> and just see how the day goes and then yeah I'm not going out right now it's horrendous but we'll see how it goes and maybe I will get some chores done um and when I do I will take you with me well it's stopped raining so it's probably time to do some chores Right, toilet's done and isn't it a great feeling when you've got an empty and clean toilet? <sighs> so next up I'm going to go and empty the recycling. So I've got a fair bit of glass that I'll bag up and I've got a bag of mixed recycling as well. So I'll take that up and then yeah, see if we've got a uh, full gas tank I can have. Rum bottles. <laughs> just the one, just the one, nothing else. Okay. So the bad news is they don't have any gas. Apparently it's been ordered on order for a while and it normally takes two weeks. So it's supposed to come in this week and it hasn't. So I'm not empty, but because I hate doing the gas, it's my least favorite job or should I say the job I hate the most because it's such a faff um I never replenish the one I've got two so basically I'm always on the second one before I fill up the next one so I don't let it go empty but I do put it off so the reason why I'm keen to get it done now even though I'm not empty is because 
my brother's come in next weekend so go and cruise him i think i mentioned that in last last week's video so i don't want to run out of gas while i'm on the cut because i don't have any other way of eating um or putting the kettle on or anything while i'm in the marina it's not so much of a drama because i have mains electric and i have one electric ring and three gas rings so that makes it not that big of a deal if i run out of gas and i can always pick up gas the next day however <laughs> The marina being out of gas uh, was not something I anticipated so I'm really gonna have to keep a better eye on the gas um, so we'll just wait it out apparently nowhere else around here has got gas either except Whittington Wharf might have gas um, but I'll only go up there if I'm desperate so what I'm gonna do is just leave it because it's not it's only Saturday now no it's not it's Sunday now and I've got till next Saturday morning really at the latest don't really want to be doing it on a Saturday because that's the day I'm going out. But I've got Friday off work as well this week, so I'll pop up there on Friday and hopefully they'll have one. But the good news is I got a Towpath magazine <laughs> and it's got um, a special of the Crip Boat Show. Now I couldn't go this year. Um, I actually had, well, it's not happened yet. <laughs> it's coming up, but I've got something else that weekend. Um, I'm going diving in Somerset instead. So, um, I do want to have a read about it and then I'm going to go next year, I think. I'm going to make sure I've got the weekend off. But yeah, I think it's, it's the last weekend in May, isn't it? Um, yeah, May 27th, 29th. It's the May bank holiday. So yeah, it should be interesting. I'll have a read of that. And there's some, look, there's some good um, adverts in this as well. Like perfect onboard climate. Heating, cooling and refrigeration on your boat. Might be quite nice in summer. So yeah, it's always good to grab one of these. It's free, Topaz magazine. And in the winter, it's great for your fire. In the summer, it's a good read. <laughs> right, I'm gonna go and check the oil level now and turn the engine over um, to see that there's no problems there. So with a, um, a Lister engine, sometimes the oil can creep up if there's a leak somewhere, uh, which is the problem that I had with my engine last year. Um, several problems that I had. Uh, same symptom, different issues. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to go and check the oil because um, I didn't do it when I um, cruised last time. So I definitely need to do that. I just forgot. Um, so I'll check that and hopefully it's fine. And then we'll start the engine uh, for a bit and see how that goes. Hopefully it'll start. It's quite a cold, wet day and it's been sat for uh, maybe two months. Uh, yeah, about two months. So yeah, let's see what happens. don't know if you can see that but that is spot on I'm very happy with that I'm also going to wipe out these channels um, it's not as easy when it's wet um, but they need doing it again because the leaves not the leaves the um, petals are coming off the trees Too bad so far. Um, 
So we'll run that for a bit now and make sure it, the oil gets pushed through uh, and then I'll check the level again and then, yeah, clean the channels, call it a day. This is a very handy piece of kit. I'll show you in a bit. This stick is also a good piece of equipment. The weather rained me off. Um, doing the last channel which is really annoying um, and then the sun came out for a second but now it's raining again um, but the engine's been running for about an hour now so I'll turn it off and yeah that's um, it for today's jobs and I can just take it easy now and read a book <laughs>